once you pick out a mid-tone, what we're going to do next is select all of our highlight shapes. And you can go to your layer panel and just target all of the paths that you've named highlight. Now what you're going to do is fill your highlights with a dark shade of gray and then add a screen blend mode to it. We're going to fill these shapes with a dark gray color from our swatch panel. And when we add a screen blend mode, it's going to extract all of the black from there and it's going to add white to it. And when it adds white, it's going to mix with your mid-tone and produce a highlight color of the mid-tone. Okay, so we're going to switch the blend mode from normal to screen. Right? And then you'll see it's mixing with the mid-tone underneath and it creates a highlight version. Now if you go higher in the grayscale, the highlight becomes less intense. As you go down in the grayscale, the highlight becomes more intense. Now if you want to adjust different highlights, again, like I said, you can select whichever one you want, and then you can reduce the opacity. Okay? So some highlights can have less intensity than others. And then what you're going to do now is select all the shadow shapes. And you're going to fill these with a light shade of gray. And this time in your blend modes, you're going to change it from normal to multiply. So multiply is going to extract all the white from the gray and then add black to it. Therefore, it's going to mix with the midtone and give you a darker variation of the midtone. So like that. And again, you can adjust these with your opacity. Okay. And if you go higher in the grayscale, the shadows get darker. As you go lower, they get lighter. So you can adjust the opacity. If you want to take a look at it, just hide your photo layer. And if you take a look at your face, you should start to see some sort of mold of your face take shape.